What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the O oh, It's Daily YouTube channel or if you're new around here, welcome. Today is going to be a match review on the just past 10-0 in aggregate, 6-0 at Ibrox, match review against St. Joseph's. Let's get into this. start us off guys by talking about the team lineup today i just want to say i've just as recording this video just passed the 800 subscriber mark we are well on the way to 1000 subscribers thank you also so much if you've liked shared commented if you are already subscribed but please guys if you haven't already do remember to smash that subscribe button and help this channel reach 1000 subscribers it means a lot more than you know but without further ado let's get into the team there was a good amount of people today that had chances to prove to Gerard because we knew Gerard was going to play a team that's strong enough to get the job done, but he, a team that there was some guys that maybe weren't necessarily we know as first choice team players, and this was a chance for them to prove themselves to say, Mister Gerard, I am not a B team player. Get me in your first team. An example of that being people like Edmondson, uh, Polestar, Stewart, and Hasty, the main ones for today. Um, obviously Fosling was in goals but I think we all know McGregor's going to be the number one goalkeeping choice but there wasn't much wrong with it today there was 45,000 fans in today which was fantastic again for a game it was dead and buried we really are the most loyal support in the world uh, you know it we know it uh, it's just a fact we really really are um, unfortunately St Joseph's can't really blame them to be honest didn't have any fans over here um, but it was good to see how much their players were enjoying the occasion they were out before it taking their selfies at the stadium and just loving the occasion basically but yeah it didn't start off too great for them and they were in for a very very long night when Aribo stepped up after two minutes and done this here's Doherty he's looking for Joe Aribo oh, Yeah, the big man done well with that goal. You can tell he's got an eye for the goal, he knows where the goal is. It was a good finish with his back to goals, he'll to turn and hit that shot. But after a goal going in that early, I just expected the first half, just the floodgates were open, that's it. The bubble was well and truly burst, and I expected 2 3 4 to be flying in the first half, not really lie. But the next 30 35 minutes ended up just looking like a training game just us playing side to side trying to play it through but it was just sitting so deep and compact and the job was really done so it was really really like a training game it almost had that kind of atmosphere as well for the next 30 35 minutes until alfredo just before half time um it was a lovely well worked corner actually i don't know if it was a training ground worked corner it was worked in by hasty at the near post it was like knee height almost goes with a little flick I don't know why I'm doing a little flick here, if you can see that, but you know, flicked it up towards the back post, Alfredo and read it, first there, beautiful header, good poacher's instinct, here's that goal. Kamara's on the goalkeeper, flicked on by goals. Oh, go. So yeah, that had a smile on the Buffalo's face and a smile on her face, knowing that any miraculous comeback was well and truly out of sight. Half time and they're just waiting to see what the second half brought maybe see what changes come on maybe if young mcpeak come on he he see how he done um doherty in the second half he won a penalty 
Um, I don't really, I think it was kind of soft in my opinion, I need to see it again, I've actually only saw it, saw it with my own eyes once. It kind of just, to me, just was like a shoulder to shoulder, but it just kind of extended it out a bit more, I don't know. I think it was kind of soft, but I wasn't really complaining, and Alfredo stepped up and buried that way like this. <laughs> After Alfie got his second goal, you seen Defoe start to warm up, just keeping everyone fresh, probably thinking about taking um, Alfie off about that time. Which we knew he wouldn't have been a happy boy because, we you know, him on two goals, he always wants his hat-trick. But he did manage to get that hat-trick today with a lovely, almost back-heel flick shot, which was kind of, well, very similar to the goal we scored against Hearts at Ibrox and the same goal from the same side as well, so... Yeah, that was a lovely, lovely goal. So he came off happy with his hat trick, and the four came on at the same time, and that was the loudest the match was. Seeing Arfield back on, and Arfield's reception for getting brought on, I should have recorded that was amazing. Um, and then of course Saturday night rang around the stadium after he came on. That yeah, you know, he is absolutely loved around these parts. But um, from then on, it was Poster had a chance for a penalty. Um, I thought it was more of a penalty than one that. Good game against Doherty, to be fair. He was almost... He just kind of nipped the ball past him. Guy left a leg in. Post went over the leg. He got up and played on. The ref never stopped and booked him or gave a penalty. But whatever. We played on. Um, the four grabbed his goals. Uh, one was a lovely cross in. He was just basically a flick across goal into the far post. He's just... He has a, such a deadly finisher. It's going to be such a headache for Gerrard. Um, to be picking what one of them two he plays. In my opinion, it's going to be Morelos that stayed up front. Um, but Defoe now coming on, he have wanted to score because after seeing Morelos score a hat trick, he'd have been happy for him, happy third one. But he knows that that's putting Alfie up there for getting a start for when it comes to the competitive season again. Well, the competitive league starting. Um, Harley, he made an amazing goal line clearance today. I thought he was brilliant as captain today. The energy he showed up and down, great quality. I, I don't know what he's been, what Gerald's been teaching him over the summer, but that boy can cross now. Every single cross seems to be, or nine out of ten seems to be brilliant, right on the money every single time. Um, the pa he doesn't, he's never lacked passion. That's one thing he's never lacked. It's just been that technical ability. But honestly, for me now, he's. He's really pushing for that starting left back spot, in my opinion. If he keeps up these levels of performances, um, his goal line claims as well off a corner. No idea how the, a guy had such a free header against us, but Harley at the back post, right before the Brimlin, or Andy Harley's name is ringing around the Brimlin, um, and then seconds after that, he made a goal line claims. So, yeah, that, that man really is living the dream. Um, it was great. It was a good, good performance. Um, we've got progress now in the next round, which the revenge will be sweet. The revenge will be sweet. Um, 25th of July, I believe the home game is. I think the club will obviously confirm that so shortly. But I'm looking forward to the revenge game on that. And Gerard certainly, certainly does have a headache on his hands. But after the game, I put out a little poll on my Twitter here. Da -da -da. Course. Unlock my phone like three million times a day, and this is the one time I can't unlock it. But I asked what the people's man of the match was. Um, it's got nearly 300 votes now. Um, 54% say Alfredo Morelos. So, Alfredo, I'm happy to admit that a close second for me was Halliday, and that was backed up by 25%. Then post at 13, a rebot at 7. But an honorable mention was to Greg Doherty today. A lot of people in the comments here, people like uh, Bob Steele, um, Dubai JR, Alex H, yep, Steph Trey, yeah, a lot of people um, in the comments of that tweet were bagging up Greg Doherty. Um, I, I thought he was, I thought he was solid today. Um, assisted as well. He's only going to get better and better. It does look like that loan spell down at Shrewsbury has done him well. Hopefully, that is the same case with Ross McCrory, M McCrory, McCrory, and he comes back and smashes it with his technical ability um, but yeah the poster as well today I thought he was really really confident it's just just not quite as sharp with the early cross and stuff with Tav but he will push Tav to the very very worst he'll make Tav better which is good good for Rangers good competition good healthy competition and stuff we like to see 
yeah, I thought everyone impressed. There were people saying Aribo really, really impressed the first half, but sort of faded out in the second. O almost kind of agree with that, yeah. But the, the midfield three now is going to be something that's probably for a different video altogether, but he's going to have a real, real headache for up and coming now for when this first league games hits. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm kind of rambling on at this point now, but just one more time guys thank you so so much if you are still around at this point in the video I do hope you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a subscription just that big red button down below it is free and help me reach that 1000 mark which we are firing towards we've just passed 800 subscribers thank you all so very very much but that's gonna be all for this video thank you guys once again hopefully you have enjoyed it we are the people and i'll catch you in the next one